now we will see the classification of the bugs so bugs can be classified uh, in different ways one is based on uh, which phase the bug uh, arises another standard way of classifying is based on the criticality of the bugs so we will see that first that is what is the impact the bug is having on the software system so this can be used by the uh, developers to decide whether the bug should be fix, uh, bug should be uh, fixed immediately or can it be uh, in, in can it be put in the deferred stage that is it can be fixed in the next uh, release also okay so first thing is the criti is a critical bug so this bug will have the worst effect okay that is it will affect the normal functioning of the software so that is if this bug uh, no uh, is there then it will it will not let the software work properly uh, so the system can hang and all that can happen so this should be fixed no matter what another thing is a major bug that is this may not cause the software to hang and it will not stop the normal functioning but it will fail to meet its requirements okay that is say we have a sorting program and output is actually being displayed but we are not getting the correct output okay that is what a major bug is now we have a medium bug which is actually less critical compared to our critical and major bugs that is uh, say you know we may not get the proper output we may get some output but some uh, some are not uh, some you know truncated output we can say okay that is a medium bug minor bug is like it doesn't affect the functionality at all uh, there are uh, like you know uh, it it is there but it will not affect the expected behavior or the normal functioning of the software that is normally you know say we are getting a printout but it is a bit not aligned it is slanting like that print uh, it is printing that functionality is working fine but you know it is a bit slanting that is how it is so it is a minor bug like that so this is how uh, bug uh, bugs are classified based on the criticality another way as i told before is based on the software development life cycle that is bugs appear in which phase of the software development life cycle so it you know we can say at the requirements and specification phase so it has been ob uh, observed um, i think i showed the uh, the percentage of bugs that arises at each phase i think i've shown that in the initial classes so basically bugs will go undetected at the requirements phase then it goes to the next phase right uh, that is what happens so most of the errors that happen uh, or that occurs is in the requirements gathering and specification phase so what exactly is happening here uh, whatever the customer requirements are it is gathered and it is converted to the specifications using which the design of the software system will be performed in this case some uh, specifications can be incomplete some can be ambiguous or inconsistent then some features may not be what exactly customer wants right so these are some of the bugs that can that uh, can happen so if the specification problem is uh, you know if it is missing or anything like that then this will be the errors that happen at the requirements and specification phase next is the design bugs or so design bugs may be from the previous phase as i told whatever the bugs that is there in requirement space will be carried to the design bugs so design bugs 
will have its own errors also that is introduced in the present phase okay there are some errors that is introduced here that is carried forward here that is also there okay now under design works there are some type of errors that can happen like uh, control flow bugs then logic bugs processing bugs data flow bugs error handling bugs like that there are different types of bugs that can happen so we will see that what are the various bugs that comes under design bugs and then we will move on to coding first one is the control flow bug so this comes under design bugs right so uh, we will see what is control flow bug if uh, what do you mean by control flow control flow means uh, the order in which statements are being executed in a program so if we see control flow uh, so we map it actually to graphs and and we will uh, see we will traverse through graphs and try to find out which all regions are reachable with through which all path we can reach to which all points is there any unreachable path like that so that is so there can be unreachable paths or there can be some paths where you know we have missing flow like that so that is what a control flow bug is uh, next is logic bugs this uh, logic bugs uh, is like improper layout or missing cases all that can be uh, improper or a logic box that is say boolean expressions the order in which boolean expressions are evaluated all that comes under logic box then processing box is like say if we have any computation mistakes that results in you know incomplete or inconsistent computing or there is an overflow uh, in the data or data representation is inconsistent with the requirement those are all processing bugs next is data flow bugs so data flow bugs you know it is you know similar to our control flow bugs here you know the data will be passed from say one module to another so in some cases i am supposed to pass a data from one module to another and that will be initialized in the first module is that data initialized there that may it is not initialized there or the data that i have in the first module is in wrong format second one it is or it is inconsistent like that so all that comes under data flow box next is error handling box so there are uh, you know error handling systems uh, you would have learned in c++ uh, or java python you would have learned error handling systems so when the system fails there must be an error message or system should handle the error what if it is not handled well that is not included you are supposed to do it but you forgot to include it that is error handling bugs next is race condition bug so race condition bugs uh, you know uh, is also some bugs that are irre irreproducible we will not be able to reproduce so you have seen what a race condition is in the uh, in the i think third semester and all so those are some cases you know it we won't be able to reproduce such cases next is boundary related uh, bugs so um, say i have to enter age and there is a restriction that age should be from say 18 say voting age so i have a voting software age should be from 18 to 100 okay only such people can vote or 70 only such people can vote now, people who is having age between 18 and 70 only they can vote what if i enter a value say uh, 15 and i am allowed to vote so boundary that the integer should have is uh, 18 to 75 but even though that boundary is being specified your program is allowing 
someone who is of age 15 to vote right so the software fails at the boundary value so this is what boundary related bugs next is user interface bug so as the name says you know what a user interface is so there can be some bugs related to user so that is what user interface bugs is like inappropriate functionalities or some something is happening that the user is not expecting or user wants something that is missing like that or confused thing to users those are some of the uh, bugs associated with design moving on we will see what a coding bug is. obviously we all know what a coding bug is um, coding bug is nothing but you know a programmer makes mistakes while coding like undeclared data undeclared subroutine or typographical errors documentation errors or comments error, error uh, comments that may have uh, may specify one thing but code specifies something else like that or bugs that may result in maintenance all that comes under coding error next is interface and integration bugs so uh, these are like say internal interface bugs will have like input output format bugs or we are calling a wrong subroutine and integration bugs is like we are trying to integrate two three modules that is incompatible there are inconsistencies in the uh, type of parameters that is being passed all that comes under interface and integration bugs then system bugs is you know uh, while testing the entire system as a whole you know performance testing we are performing uh, you know stress testing compatibility testing all that in real time then if the system is not able the software system is not able to take the maximum load then that is an error okay so that is maximum number of users or memory limit all that if the system is not able to take then that is a system bug then testing bugs is okay what can be testing bug right because testing is a phase where it is dedicated to finding the presence of bugs but what if you know the bugs are present in testing phase also that is um, there are certain mistakes that is happening during the testing phase that is you know we we actually uh, performed some test case but we noticed that there is some error or you know we uh, uh, while documenting you know the tester actually didn't specify how to reproduce the problem or you know fail to check some unresolved problems that was already you know reported then we we fail to verify certain fixes all that comes under testing box okay yeah thank you